It's Wednesday, August 29th, and that's a big old container ship that just passed me. About 1.30 in the afternoon, local time, probably seen at least a dozen ships in the vicinity going north or south here. I'm going generally northwest, headed to Singapore. It's pretty cloudy. I'm about uh, two and a half degrees south of the equator and about 109 degrees east longitude. The water isn't very dark blue like the normal ocean water where it's quite deep. Here it's kind of an olivey green color. It's because the water is only about 100 feet deep. There are literally thousands of square miles here north of Bali between uh, Borneo and Java where the water is under 300 feet deep. I've also started to uh, experiment with the sails again. Here I am sailing dead downwind. I got the uh, Yankee this time pulled out with the double reef main. This uh, setup balances quite well and I like it because in these waters with all the shipping and the fishing boats I can switch to a fore and aft rig pretty, qu uh, pretty quick by just dropping the pole. But it's a very nice day, pretty cloudy. It's the closer I get to the equator, humid. It's uh, warm, but not hot. And even in the evenings, it's uh, when the sun goes down, it's still pretty cool. It's Friday afternoon, a little bit past 5.30 on August 31st, 2007. If you look clo closely down here into the water, you can see the equator, which I am just now crossing after spending 14 months or so south of the equator. I am now crossed over just now into the northern hemisphere once again. It's a pretty light breeze blowing right now and a lot of sloppy choppy so the boat's bouncing around quite a bit. Up that way which is due north about 500 miles or so is uh, the Cambodian and Vietnamese border. Sweeping back around this way through the northeast and back around that way to the east is the island of Borneo about 250 miles away. Also called Kalimantan in Indonesian. And swing back around, way out there on the horizon you might see a little dot as a ship that just passed. Back over this way to the south, about 400 miles or so, is Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia. Keep panning around here. Over this way to the west, or actually a little bit more this way to the west. It's Sunday, September the 2nd, about one o'clock in the afternoon local time. What you're looking at is a big old ship, obviously, that's anchored. There's a separate anchorage over there for ships and you can see there's a couple of them. Just slightly over this way, and going up to the north, a little bit west of north, is the Malacca Straits. Now pan over this way through the north. And from about here, continuing on, way out to the east, is the Singapore Straits. It just looks like open water because there's not really much land to see from this vantage point. The island of Singapore is over that away, and where I'm headed is up this way, uh, going a little bit about uh, 10, 15 degrees east of north, uh, planning to go up on the west side of Singapore Island to a marina.
It's about six o'clock on a Saturday afternoon here in the early part of September. What you're looking at is the Malacca Straits. It's out to the northwest. I'm currently anchored off of this little island called Basar. That looks to me like uh, probably some kind of a condo complex. I don't know, maybe it's a uh, it's an inhabited island, and there's quite a few private homes on the other side, where I was anchored last night through a tsunami and uh, some rain and a lot of lumpy seas, so this morning I moved around here. I'm on the north side, uh, much better and uh, more protected over here. Swinging around through, uh, that's about the southeast back that way, and that's the uh, mainland of Malaysia there. Can't see too much in the camera in this angle, but I'll keep swinging around here to the north, northeast, and way off there in the distance, there's a large number of multi-story buildings. It's all a very built-up area. I don't know what the city name is. I'd have to check on the chart. And panning around again, there's another small island the water here is fairly shallow, only about 15 or 16 feet deep, and there's uh, parts of a reef out there which helps protect the anchorage here from uh, getting really bad swells. As you can see, there's rocks awash there. It's Wednesday afternoon, uh, November the 15th, about uh, 5 p.m. And you're looking south through the entrance to Telaga Harbor, which is on the island of Langkawi in Malaysia. Now going through the west, this of course is the marina area. That big building there is a high-class hotel under construction. Those other smaller buildings are shops and high-priced restaurants. There's a lot of open area here that hasn't been developed yet. As I pan around, that tower that you see in the building that it's attached to is the harbor master's office. <clears throat> this building contains a couple of different restaurants and a children's learning center. And on the end is a Petronas gas station and convenience store. The blue building is the marina office. And so we've come full circle. It's a nice place, hot and humid this time of the year.